Welcome to Reno County Business Partners. On today's show, we're starting by celebrating the grand reopening of Bricks for Kids in Oak Grove with owner Shelley Whitaker, who will tell us more about her business and its role in the neighborhood. Next, we'll learn more about the Billy Bird redevelopment in Vinton, where we'll speak with David McCormick, president of Waukesha Development, about his company's efforts to revitalize the historic William Bird High School. Lastly, we'll speak with Amy White, Dean of STEM at Virginia Western Community College, who will tell us more about the new STEM building on campus and what it means for the community and the future workforce in the region. Hi, I'm Amanda Zack with the Roanoke County Economic Development Office, and I'm here with Shelley Whitaker, the owner of Bricks for Kids. Today we're celebrating the grand reopening here at Oak Grove Plaza. Congratulations, Shelley. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out to see us. Yeah, and thanks for being with us. Can you tell us a little bit about your background here in um, with Bricks for Kids? Sure. So Bricks for Kids has been in Roanoke a little over five years. Mm -hmm. We're a franchise. Um, was founded about 10 years ago in Florida and has grown to uh, internationally to about 40 countries, over 500 franchises and um, I've been running the, the location here in Roanoke for a little over five years now and we're excited to be um, relocating, recently relocated here to Ogre Plaza in Southwest Roanoke County. That's so exciting mm -hmm. and can you tell us a little bit about what you do, what kind of age, gra uh, age groups do you work with? Sure, sure, so Bricks for Kids, um, we have programming for ages 3 to 15, so um, everything we do is based on STEM, um, science, technology, engineering, and math, and so we have uh, proprietary model plans that have been designed by our engineers and architects mm -hmm. cool. from Bricks for Kids, and um, we start with the Duplo bricks with the preschoolers, um, we move into our motorized models using uh, Lego Technic pieces for the elementary age, and then we have programming all the way through the middle school with our um, advanced robotics with Mindstorms and stop motion animation movie making. Cool, that mm -hmm. is a lot of stuff yes. going on. <laughs> <laughs> How do you work with the schools at the area? So we, we partner with local schools in a couple of different ways. We go in and do after school programming, mm -hmm. after school enrichment classes at a lot of schools. We do field trips where we go in during the school day and do programming. We'll um, partner with schools on their STEM nights um, mm -hmm. where we come in and run stations at mm -hmm. their events or sometimes run the whole event for their STEM nights for their families and students. Um, and then pretty much any other type of special event or programming that schools want to work with us on, um, we can find a way to partner with them. Wow, that all sounds really fun. I mean, there's yeah. Legos all around yes, us. Yes, like, yes, I yes. want to get yeah. into this and play. Yeah. So here at our location, um, <laughs> then we also do birthday parties, cool. summer camps, homeschool classes, parents' night outs. Um, scout uh, meetings um, and pretty much anything that uh, anybody wants to do with Legos we can offer programming for them here. Okay, so I have to ask you, is this something that adults can do? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, and we get that all the time. Sometimes at birthday parties, the parents will take over building the models for their children, oh and um, we have to remind the parents who, who's supposed to be building. Um, <laughs> but we do also have our corporate team building um, arm, which is Bricks for Biz, and okay. that's a way that we can go in and do just traditional team building with um, adults, um, but we use the, the thing that they use to do the team building scenarios as Legos. So we have a couple of different, so they're not doing the same builds mm -hmm. that we do with our students, but they're using a lot of those same Legos um, that we run them through different scenarios to run them through um, different team building strategies, um, things to work on, teamwork and communication and problem solving um, to get some takeaways that they can take back to their everyday um, team atmosphere to improve things. That's so cool. Yeah. I would love to do that. Yes, yeah, so well, we, can, we can hook you up, yeah. up with that. <laughs> so can you um, tell me a little bit about how you see the future of Bricks for Kids in this community? Sure, sure. So we, um, again, at our location here and at Grove Plaza, we'll continue to offer camps every mm -hmm. summer. We'll offer camps when schools are closed. Um, we'll do birthday parties. We have a number of birthday parties coming up over the next few weekends. Um, so we'll continue to offer those parents' night outs. Um, and then we'll just continue um, to expand and um, move into more and more schools. Um, we're in a good number of schools right now um, in both uh, the county, the city, private schools, uh, preschool centers. So we just continue to add more and more schools to the schools that we work with. Mm -hmm. um, some we work with very regularly year after year, year round. Some we work with, you know, on a shorter term um, basis. And so we just continue to hope to be able to grow those partnerships. So can you tell us more about Bricks for Kids and how people can reach out to learn more about your programs? Sure. So you can give us a call at 540-380-2485. Um, we're also on um, our website at Bricks for Kids. 
dot com slash Roanoke, yep. and that's a four in the middle and a Z on the end. <laughs> and um, then also on our Facebook page um, at B4K Roanoke. And um, we are constantly putting pictures of our programming, um, events, announcements, and so forth. And you can register for a lot of programming on our website as well. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really looking forward to the future of your company in this neighborhood. So thank you so much for being with me and congratulations again. Thank you again for coming. Thanks. Together, Roanoke County and the City of Roanoke are reimagining the Oak Grove Center as a premier destination for dining, shopping, and entertainment. With improved access to parks, shops, restaurants, and amenities, this community along the 419 corridor is poised to be a bustling center for business development opportunities. Between Kagey Village, Oak Grove Plaza, and Southwest Plaza, there are over 80 commercial and residential properties in an area that spans approximately 173 acres in size. The surrounding community enjoys high incomes and low cost of living, which means they have more disposable income and have shown great interest in increased access to nearby retail and entertainment options. Interested developers, investors, and businesses can call Roanoke County Economic Development at 540-772-2069 with questions and details on the Oak Grove area market demand. It's a great day in Roanoke County in the town of Vinton. Today we are celebrating the grand opening of the Billy Bird, the former William Bird High School in downtown Vinton. With me here today is Dave McCormick, the owner and developer of this property. Dave, thank you so much for being with us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. So Waukesha, you have a lot of experience all across the state of Virginia with redeveloping historic properties. Tell us about this project and how that compares to some of your other projects. Yeah, so this is probably the seventh school that we've done and turned into something and you know they're all super different. Uh, I remember coming here the first time though and a lot of the other ones you kind of walking around trying to figure out how you're going to make it work and you know if it's a worthy project or whatever it is. This one we came and I remember the day we were here and we just said yes. It was really cool, really kind of the views were amazing, the proximity to everything and we really felt great about it. It's super complex the way this thing lays out but it's I, I think the outcome is really worth it. Well we think it is too and this is about 83 uh, new apartments uh -huh. and uh, one, two, and three bedroom. Uh, one and two beds. One and two beds. Yep. And a studio apartment? Yep. Yep. We have a few of those. And their uh, second, first floor as well as the basement area? That's right. We have three floors in this building, two over there in the back. It's all built into the hill. We have 20 in the old gym and a, a few on the old stage in the auditorium. Yeah. So there's a lot of excitement here. This building has, uh, was built in 1930. It's been around for almost 90 years. It's now on the National Register of Historic Places and uh, the Historic Landmarks Register. Tell us how complicated that is. Yeah, that, that, that is, it is a journey for sure to kind of put something on the register, but it's so important to us. I mean, you know, I said in our remarks earlier, I feel like the steward of this building, one of the reasons you want that on the, on the register is because it really does protect the building in a lot of ways on, for decades and years to come. Why it's important to us is this is a historic tax credit project, so we actually spend a lot more than the building's worth, and then we can transact those credits to get the loan payments where we can actually afford and, and carry it. So, uh, but we're under really strict standards of doing that. That's we, we would save all this history anyway, but that's why we save all of this historic fabric and the chalkboards, whatever it is, even the shuffleboard marks in the floor in the gym. So right, right. it's all part of it. Well, and the new density that you're going to create here with uh, new apartments is going to create activity and energy into the downtown area. And hopefully that'll spur new economic development opportunities with small business growth. You've probably seen that elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our, I feel like our timing's really great being in Vinton at this time. You know, I've, we're, I'm also in the brewery business. I know the guys from the brewery here and it's so cool to be two blocks away from that. I know everyone's excited about that. The people I've heard of or of interest in this building, but also the trail system back here. I would love the connection to everything that's happening in town. And we do like to be part, uh, 
hopefully a catalytic project that spurs other people to make investments in the town. Sure. Well, and you and can the county. Yeah, you can walk downtown from this building. You can get on the trail here mm -hmm. uh, right beside of us. You can experience retail shopping, go to the libraries, uh, go to McAdoo's, all the yeah. new restaurants that are developing in the downtown area. So this is a great opportunity for you to help with leasing as well. Exactly. And, and I, I think of these buildings as like, we want a place that place that I would love to live. And this is that right now. This is such a cool spot. I, I would love to be in this building and, and live in Benton and have those opportunities. So so that's kind of how we you know we think and how we create our own internal direction for these projects. So well you're very creative. You've done a lot of uh, great work in this building. Uh, the community loves it already I can tell. Uh, a lot of new energy here. So Dave that's thank great. you for your commitment and investment in Roanoke County and thank you. in Benton. That's great. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Introducing Lynda.com. Lynda.com is available for free to anyone with a Roanoke County Public Library card. Train your workforce, pursue career goals, learn in-demand job skills, or learn a new hobby. This resource is perfect for individuals, small businesses, and large corporations looking for free, effective, and convenient learning opportunities. Sign up today for unlimited learning and expert-led training. If you already have a library card, you may register to use lynda.com from any computer by visiting Roanoke County Public Library's website and clicking on the lynda.com link. If you need a library card to get started, stop by any Roanoke County Public Library location. Today we're celebrating the grand opening of the new STEM building at Virginia Western Community College. I'm here with Amy White, Dean of STEM here at Virginia Western. Thank you so much for having us here today, Amy. Thank you all for being here. It's a pleasure to have you. So first I want to start off by saying that this building is just beautiful. It is Thank you. totally stunning. Thank you. We are extremely proud yeah, and humbled to be here. I can imagine. Can you tell us a little bit about the background of the planning and development of it? Absolutely. So this building is... Um, two years in construction and about six years in total planning. Uh, long ago, we had faculty, all the users, we had student input, faculty input, uh, staff input into what we thought would be a great, technologically uh, relevant and uh, collaborative learning space mm -hmm. were really the goals that we wanted to have and we think we've met those goals. Yeah, I, I mean just from the walkthrough that I've done you can definitely tell that. Thank you. Um, I was wondering, so STEM is a really instrumental force in this region. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about how you foresee that playing a role, how this building plays a role in the future? Absolutely. STEM, uh, STEM involves a lot of technology. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously we also feel that it really speaks to collaboration. So the building serves two purposes. Mm -hmm. it, it educates students and we expose them to technology. We have some of the most sophisticated equipment in the building that you will find in any private industry or in any academic institution. The other thing that we do through the School of STEM is teach them collaboration. Uh, we work interdisciplinarily. Mm -hmm. uh, all of our, our biologists are constantly working with our engineers, constantly work, working with our physics. Mm -hmm. uh, so we really teach the students collaboration. That prepares them to enter the workforce. Oh, that's such a powerful message. Yeah. Them. Thank you. So I know students are already here, they're already taking classes in this building. Can you share a little bit of the feedback that you've received? How are they reacting to They this? are reacting f fabulously uh -huh. better than I had even anticipated. What we've done in the building is we obviously have uh, state-of-the-art classrooms, we have state-of-the-art <laughs> laboratories, but we also built in a lot of study spaces like oh. you see here. Yeah. <laughs> there are couches and tables and chairs everywhere. We also have rooms and little cubbies that two or three or four of them can come and uh, sit and study and work together. We also have spaces they can meet with their instructors. So it's a very engaging atmosphere and what I see in the students is that they are using these study spaces all the time. They are also very proud. You I, can see that when they walk in they're like wow this is for us. Oh my gosh. So I that is that warms my heart. I'm sure that's truly Absolutely. Rewarding. Absolutely. So can you share a little bit of information about how prospective students can learn more about the STEM building? I Absolutely. It, they can come. Be, that that uh -huh. would be my first okay. thing is to please come. Walk in to the office it's on mm -hmm. the first floor and and schedule an appointment with me or with one of the instructors for a field that they think that they're interested in we are happy to show people around 
and talk to them. Uh, they can certainly check out the website. They can certainly email us, but the best way to learn about it is really to come by. And I, we welcome everybody. I completely agree. There's just something about being in here Absolutely. that just makes you realize how powerful it is. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I'm really excited to tour this Please place come and, and have something to eat. We I've have desserts some... up here on the fourth floor, <laughs> so make yourself at home and, yeah. and enjoy your night. Yeah, thank you for I've being seen here. Some moving pieces in every lab. So absolutely. I'm excited. Thank absolutely. you so much for having us again. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for Roanoke County Business Partners. If you have any questions about this show, want to start a business, or need business assistance, please contact the Roanoke County Economic Development Office at 540-772-2124 or email Jill Loop at jloop at roanokecountyva.gov or you can always visit our website at yesroanoke.org.